everyone, so how are you all okay? Welcome back to my channel and welcome today to a under the sink organization video. You guys have been absolutely loving my cleaning videos. So I thought I'd start getting in on the organization videos and start with an under the sink one. So this is the current state of my sink. It's pretty unorganized. I got a basket originally just to put everything in, but you know how it gets, guys. You end up chucking everything in the basket. It ends up getting very cluttered and organized. So I really wanted to get a good organization storage system under the sink, so it's just nice and neat and just so satisfying to open and just, you know, just pleasing on the eye. So that's what we're gonna do today. But before we do get into the good stuff, go and grab yourself a copy. I've made myself a lovely cappuccino with chocolate on the top. Grab yourself a drink, some snacks, get comfy, and I'm going to show you how to organise your under the sink. So the first thing you're going to want to do, guys, is just take absolutely everything out from under your sink and then assess the area. Just assess the space. Measure up if you need to. I did have to measure up because obviously when I went to get my units and stuff, I needed to know the size and what's going to fit. Obviously, we have all this horrible plumbing that's very unsightly, so I really want to be able to open my under the sink and not see this. So that is exactly what we're going to do. And I'm going to show you how exactly you can disguise that and cover that up. But first things first, let's give this whole area a good clean over before we start putting things back in. Um, so yeah, I'm just spritzing some Method rhubarb everywhere on the kitchen doors. Kitchen doors? Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Kitchen doors. And yeah, just everywhere. So it's nice and fresh smelling and all clean. So the first place we're going to start is with these two tier drawer systems. Honestly, guys, it took me the absolute longest time to find these. I actually got these from Dunelm in the end, but I was looking for some like white sort of like, you know, glossy, wooden-y ones. But yeah, I couldn't find anything but these little white plastic ones. But I am really pleased with them. They're only around seven to eight pounds. They do actually come as a free tier stacker, but I took the top tier off as it wouldn't fit. So yeah, I'm actually really, really happy with these. I love them. I think they look really, really good and they're going to help organize everything so much more easier so yeah really chuffed with this purchase and they are from Dunelm if you are wondering I will leave everything in the description bar below if I can so now to fill them up so firstly I'm going to take these little white sort of like sparkly scrubbers I actually got these from home sense and I'm actually going to use these to cover the sort of like door of the drawer if that makes sense I don't want you to be able to see everything in there that's going to be all multicolored. I want to keep it quite like white and bright so I just thought if I popped these into the front of the drawers it's just going to hide the contents and just keep it all white and just very clean looking if that makes sense now to fill up the drawers, I'm now taking these three little multi-pack coloured scrubbers. Again, I got these from HomeSense and I'm just simply going to pop these in drawer number one. These drawers are mainly going to be used just to store all of like my cleaning essentials like your cloths, your microfiber cloths, um, brushes, sponges, all of that sort of stuff. Next up, I'm just taking these free cleaning pads. These are actually new ones and I got them from b and I absolutely love these. They're so much cheaper than obviously the Minky, which you'll now see. Um, I, honestly, I just think they're pretty much the same, but obviously so much cheaper than buying one Minky. So yeah, they're gonna go in that drawer. And then also gonna store away my Dishmatic. I have so many Dishmatics. Here's a brand new one, um, a refill Dishmatic head. And also this is a Bathmatic. It's so good, it's a really good scrubber for your baths. So if you haven't got one then, definitely check them out because they are amazing. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop those into the drawers like so. Next up, the next thing I'm going to put in is just an assortment of cloths. I've got like microfiber cloths, duster, honestly there's so many different cloths for different uses here. So yeah, I'm going to pop these into one of the drawers. Next up, I'm just taking my pack of eCover um, biodegradable wipes. So these are actually environmental friendly guys. I get so much stick for using wipes, but I actually pretty much always use the eCover ones nowadays um, because obviously they're environmental friendly. So yeah, I don't use wipes for a lot of things, just the toilets. But yeah, I'm gonna pop those in there. And then finally, I'm just going to take my favourite item from Poundland. It's this little like brush scrubber thing. It was only obviously a pound from Poundland. I use it all the time on the sofas just to get any like hairs and bits off. It's really good. So yeah, 
Okay, so next up I'm going to be adding a shelf. I really wanted to maximise my space and obviously be able to use obviously the height in this cupboard. So I picked up this shelf. It's actually like a floating shelf. It's from Dunnell. It was too long um, for the cupboard, but I got my dad to actually saw it. So yeah, thanks dad for doing that. So it obviously now fits. And because I've got the little storage systems on the bottom, you haven't obviously got to attach it in like an actual shelf. It just merely just sits on top of the storage systems, which is really, really good. So yeah, just love this because it's really going to help maximize like I said the space Okay, so then to go on top of the shelf, I picked up some like acrylic sort of like plastic storage containers. I got these from HomeSense. They're so inexpensive. You can get them on Amazon as well. I'm pretty sure they're not too expensive on there either. This one was around about six or seven pounds. Yeah, it wasn't the cheapest. This one wasn't, but um, it was just the perfect size. So yeah, I'm going to place that there and fill that in a second. The next sort of little storage container I picked up was this sort of like narrow and thin one. I thought this would be perfect for my Sephora bottles. This was only $1.99 in HomeSense, which I thought was really, really um, inexpensive because on Amazon it was so much more. So yeah, I love that. So now I'm very simply just going to grab all of my Zafloras and just place them in the little container and then put it on the top of the shelf. Oh my god, how like pleasing is this to the eye? I just love organisation, guys. <laughs> this just satisfies me so much. On to fill in the next container, I'm again taking one of these little scrubber things just to sort of hide the contents and make it white and bright. Um, and then I'm just going to add a few of like my go-to under the sink things. So I've got this Dettol all-in-one disinfectant spray, so I'm placing that in there. Um, this Carpet Fresh by 1001, I use this most days, so again it's something I sort of reach under the sink for. Um, I mean, you can put whatever you want under the sink. I'm just putting a few things that I sort of like go to quite regularly. Um, I'm then taking my Unstoppables Air Freshener. I, I love this air freshener. I, I know air fresheners are not the best, guys, but honestly, just smell this and it's just the most insane thing ever. So that has to go in there. Okay, now to start filling the little gap in the middle of my Zaflora and the other container. So I picked up this little cube glass um, container, again from HomeSense. I blimmin' love HomeSense so much. Um, it was, how much was this? I think it was like 2 dollars I remember it being really inexpensive and I'm going to use this to um, just put my dishwasher tablets in. I thought it'd be a really nice container just for the dishwasher tablets because I guess dishwasher tablets is something you always reach for from under the sink. So yeah, this is going to be so handy. And Obviously, it looks really pleasing. Okay, the next thing I'm going to take is this olive oil dispenser, again from HomeSense. I thought this would be really good for my fairy liquid because obviously fairy liquid is something that sits under your thing all the time. So yeah, I just obviously wanted it to look more presentable than sitting my fairy liquid on the shelf and obviously this is going to do the job. So I could have probably got a fairy liquid that might have been like a a clear substance because this is very bright and um you know not fitting in with the white scheme i didn't think of this but yeah anyway i'm just simply transferring this into my lovely glass container I then picked up some spray bottles from Amazon. These were again quite inexpensive. They were about £12 for free, which I didn't think was too bad at all. And I'm then going to label these myself and again just fill them with some products um, that I have lying around that I just want to transfer them in. I do want to start getting like natural products and making my own sort of natural cleaning things, but I need to obviously investigate and research that a little bit more before I start making my own things. <laughs> I'm then going to go ahead and label the washing up liquid and the dishwasher tablet containers as well. I want it really uniform and just looking super organised. I think this is a nice little touch just to make it quite personalised and again give it that like white and bright feel. I made these simply just on like Word, well not Word, it's whatever the Macbook version is. Um, but yeah, it was really really simple. I just bought these label sheets from Asda, they're just like a pack of A4 label sheets. And yeah, honestly guys, it was so so simple to make these. So yeah, as you can see, just cut that one out and then simply sticking it on to the cube. Like, look, how good does that look, guys? I just think that looks so, like, 
professional if I do say so myself. <laughs> And then finally, simply doing the same thing with the washing up liquid. Like I said, I'm sort of like kicking myself I didn't get like a clear washing up liquid because the blue is irritating me. But anyway, it's fine. I can always change that. Um, but yeah, just simply adding that label to that. For my other two spray bottles, I'm then going to make a fabric spray, 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 um, and a glass cleaner because again, these are two products that I use quite on the regular. I use fabric spray most days for my sofas, curtains, and glass sprays, obviously for my spec toaster, kettle, coffee machine. I've got a lot of mirror glass furniture, so I'm just simply again just taking the products that I already have and just transferring them into these bottles, so they obviously match my little scheme and sort of organization, color, whatever that I've got going on. I don't even know what I'm saying guys, but you know what I'm saying. And yeah, I think you get the gist of it now, but I'm then taking the Astonish Fabric Refreshner and again, doing exactly the same, just transferring this into a clear bottle. Okay, now to fill the last space on the ground floor, the ground floor, on the bottom of the shelf. Um, and I got these, um, they're like water bottles, glass bottles. You know when you go into like restaurants and they put these on the table with water in? They're basically them. I just thought they looked really smart and just, yeah, aesthetically pleasing. I thought I could do something with them. So I've grabbed two of these and I'm going to use these for my floor cleaner and also my fabric conditioner. You guys know I'm a bit obsessed with fabric conditioner. I use it for so many things. I use it to make dilute bottles, I use it for my sink mainly to like aroma the house, like I'll get some hot um, hot water and just add some fabric conditioner to the sink and it just gives the most amazing aroma, it just steams the whole house, so yeah, I like to have this under the sink. And then again, I'm simply just adding my label to the bottle just to give it that finishing touch. And then I've just simply added the floor cleaner label to the floor bottle as well. I don't actually have a floor cleaner um, at the moment. I've already got like a pre-diluted one that I'm using by Method. So yeah, just popping that there. The last thing I'm going to do is take these like self-adhesive door um, things. Door things? That is so descriptive, Laura. Um, but you know what they are. They're basically silver and you just peel the back off and you can stick them on the door. And then you can just like hang up things. So you can hang your washing up gloves. You can hang your tea towels. And um, I am going to get them little clippy things as well. Clippy things, again, I'm so descriptive. But they're basically just things that you can like loop over the hook. Um, and then obviously just secure, like I said, your gloves and your tea towels like bed off so they're not going to fall off. So yeah, there you go, I've just attached a tea towel there just to sort of show you. I'm also going to get some washing gloves um, and put them on the second hook. But yeah, that's how that is going to look. And that is it guys, that is my under the sink organisation video complete and the sink is all organised and just looking absolutely beautiful and just so aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. So I'm just going to quickly show you it in more detail. So we've got the Sephora, the multi-purpose cleaner, the washing up liquid, the dishwasher tablet and then my little container with just three little essential products that I use and reach for on most days. And then if we go down to the bottom, we've got these beautiful storage containers where I've just simply put in this one, um, what are they Laura, some sponges. And then we have my Ecover wipes, my brush, we have um, some microfiber cloths, dusters, all of that good stuff, just a lot, a good assortment in there, you know, you get the gist, all different colours. And then in the final drawer, we just have some minkies and my dish matic. And then as you can see, down the side are just some sprays um, and then some bottles with the fabric conditioner and the floor cleaner in. So yeah, guys, that is it. I'm going to leave you to just enjoy and admire.